What's up YouTube? Today I have prepared a long video for the Archer tutorial guide just for you. And there are lots of things to cover and so I have made some overview guide here what I will be going to discuss with you today in my video. We're going to talk about all skill explained for individual in main and awakening and then after that we're going to talk about with little combo tips and then skill cooldown slots as well what kind of skills that you guys need to put on your cooldown slots and then what skills to use when holding a main weapon and awakening weapon after that we're going to talk about pvp movement for archer and then knockdown tips combos and then you know how i grind pve so what are we waiting for let's get this started all right let's talk about secondary skills and discuss what skills you will need to lock on first of all evasion guys you guys want to lock this because it doesn't have any super armor forward guard or you know iframes and so it's very very useless skill and so i highly recommend you guys just locking that in if you don't know how to lock it just right here on the bottom right if you hover it you'll see the lock button and then just click on that to lock the skill after that sunfall is a really good nice damage you guys want to use this on a quick slot so there's only one way to use the skill which is using on a quick slot so make sure you guys can put it on either one two three four and then use sunfall from that and he also has a forward guard so it's really nice to use when battling pve or pvp in general in snare you also want to have that on the quick slot because it gives you guys critical hit rate plus 30 percent for 10 seconds so if you guys activate that you guys will have 30 percent critical hit and so make sure you guys always spam that glide is the skill that you guys are going to mostly going to use which is forward sideways and not the backwards it's only the sideways and forward and if you guys use this it also gives you guys movement speed for 10 percent for five seconds so let's do double tap on w for example then that's how you guys can use that or double a or double d or what people like to do is pressing shift and then w to go forward and then d or A to go left and then D to go right. And then as you guys can see right here, I can get movement speed for 10%. So for gliding on backwards, instead of gliding, you do the leap on the backwards. And so if you guys do the shift back, for example, it will look like this. It will look like that on a bow. But if you have a crossbow, this is what it's gonna look like as well. And he has a forward guard. And so, you know, make sure you guys can use that on the first one. And then you have a forward guard, but you guys can spam it too. It's just that you guys won't not have the forward guard anymore. So just be careful spamming that same button. So there's going to be a lot of skills right here, guys. Don't bother like looking at these at all because if you guys use Earth Kick, it has no forward guard, super armor, iframes. And so once you guys use this on a character when you guys are battling, you're basically open spotted. And so enemy can put you down when you use the skill so highly recommend not using these skills so what you guys can do here is on the right side you guys can just lock everything literally from the very top to bottom like there are some ones that has forward guard and everything so it's up to you if you guys want to use these kind of cool um skills to you know make some really cool combos but personally i would just lock them just to be convenient because archer is about being in range right you don't want to be too close to the enemy when you're doing combos but this is all for melee stuff and so i highly recommend just not using these because you know you want to use your bows and not all the melee stuff on archer so let's talk about breath of the spirit it can be very very tricky to understand this skill but let me just explain it very simply recovery stun that's the only one that you guys want to use for pve and pvp grinding as well and pvp you want to use the deceleration and so if you guys just press e you guys can easily just get the hp back and stuff and so yeah just make sure you guys spam e exhale that's when you guys can cast the breath of the spirit so let's say that i have this much of hp in outside of battle arena and let's just press e to get a recovery and then every 13 seconds guys you guys can spam this skill so make sure you guys spam that all the time if you guys are lacking in hp there are other ones called stun and deceleration and they're really good for pvp content but i recommend just you guys using the recovery for pve because if you guys also look at steady breath and look at stun it gives range ap plus 12 which is really good right guys like you guys can think oh i can get all dp plus 15 or range ap plus 12 but let's look at stun for example if you go to awakening and then look at on this skill right here guys glissade i don't know how to say that word but if you guys use this skill you guys can get range ap plus 12 for 10 seconds 
And so let's say that, for example, I press number one and then press S, and then I use steady breath, right? And so that was on my bow, so it didn't work. Let's have a crossbow out and then use it. Boom. And then I get the range AP, right, for example. But if you just use this skill, guys, he overstacks it. So right now we have three seconds left. Boom. And now we have back to 10 seconds. And that's a really easy skill to use is W, R, and B. And it just switches up to your bow easily to awakening position instead of main. And so, yeah, I highly recommend you guys just using this and replace that instead of, instead of using the breath of stun. So once again, let's have a crossbow out, right? So we're using on a crossbow. We're fighting with crossbow. And then we just press W, R, and B. And if you do that, we just get that range AP plus 12 from that. And so I highly recommend you guys, again, just using this and don't use the stun instead. Let's say that you guys have no problem of getting HP because you guys have either like Infinity Potion or have a Fairy, right? Of Miracle Cheer 5 and then you just buy potions, right, in the market easily or just buy it from the tent. Then I recommend you guys can use um, Deceleration, right? Because if you guys use Steady Breath, you guys can get all DP plus 15. So yeah, maybe that can be replaced instead of Recovery. So that was a long talk, but just to keep it simple, guys, just keep it on recovery, okay? So just, you don't even have to have a hockey if you want, you just get rid of it. Because um, once you go to another class and they come back to Archer, it always comes back to recovery anyways. And so don't bother really, you know, playing with this one at, at all. So right now I changed to something else and so that. And then now let's just get rid of it. And then if you just press E, you get recovery. And then let's use the other skill to get 300 more. And so spam your Excel and steady breath. And you guys can get easily 800 HP in a second. So that was already confusing as playing an archer and can be confusing because there's so much already content in secondary skill, guys, comparing with other classes, what I teach you guys. And so again here, what we learned quickly is that we can use Excel, Steady Breath, on Recovery, so that way we can get 800 HP in total. After that, Sunfall, you guys don't want to just put that in a hotkey, right? Everything's locked here, so that's fine, thank god, right? So make sure you guys lock all this. Ensnare, you guys constantly want to use this ability because it gives you guys 30% critical hit rate. And that's about it for secondary skills. And so let's jump on to the main skills and awakening. I like to use Piercing Cry and Meteor Dive for combo wise together. And so this is how it works guys. Use any some kind of ability and then space bar to use that. And then keep holding left click and then you guys can activate Piercing Cry for example. So let's do it again. There's space bar and then left click. Space bar, left click. And you guys can spam this all day until your stamina runs out, right? So this is really good to getting to point A to point B because you know you can spam that button all day and then get to the, the other side really fast and once you guys are there you guys will be like using abilities right and then after you guys use all the abilities your stamina will come back up again and then do the same thing space bar left click space bar left click right just make sure that they don't have a super armor constantly it's only in the very beginning skill and so just be careful of spamming that button on pvp content but pve content they're so much fun to use and so I highly recommend you guys, you know, just use spamming that all day if you want and just getting to point A to point B. So just like here guys, I can literally just go point A to point B and then use my abilities, right? And then kill all of them right here and then get to the next point. Point A, point B, right? And just spam that skill all over again if you guys wanted to. Also, Meteor Dive has a passive, which is movement speed debuffing enemy for 30% for 10 seconds. So let's go to the enemy, for example, and let's use Meteor, for example, on them. And let's see if he actually debuffs them. So right here, guys, you actually debuff them. You guys see the boots and going down. That means they're actually debuffed. And so make sure you guys use this on PvP content too. It can be really, really good for the enemy when they're, they're trying to chase you down, but then you debuff them with that with the Meteor Shower. Also, don't forget, you can also go backwards with Meteor Dive, which is pressing this, and then S, spacebar, right? So you guys want to do like this, and then this as well, if you guys wanted to. So you guys can use the Leap, right? You guys can use the Leap, which is S Shift, and then S, spacebar, right? So again, boom, that. Boom, that. 
So if you guys look at the mini map, like I'm trying to go like this way, right? And so you guys can do that too. Like if you're not too sure where you're going, just always look at your mini maps, right? It's gonna help you where you're gonna go. So make sure just follow that road and so on. And then after that, if you guys want to go forward again, slide, jump, leap, right? Jump, leap, and just spam that all day if you guys wanted to. This is a really fun skill to use as well if you guys want to do like a sidestep and then attacking, which is left F, right, or right F. And so it's only one skill. You can't spam that skill. And so make sure you guys look at the cool time for that and then use it whenever. So meteor piercing cry and then sidestep for example right so that's what you guys can do and practice this is how you guys use storm of light personally i don't use it but let's just talk about it so you guys know what it is storm of light you guys must have crossbow out and then after that just press q to start doing something and then if you guys do that it's notch that means you guys can cast it every time you guys press q after using a skill so let's do glide and then press q for example so that's how you guys can do on that skill is that use some kind of skill and then press Q and that's it. And that's how you guys can use that skill for that one for Storm of Light. So it might be really cool for using combos, right? Slide Q and then like doing some kind of combo, right? So that can be only good for combo wise. I wouldn't personally use it. And so yeah, if you guys want to, you guys can lock that skill if you want. It's up to you. Next one we're going to talk about is Wing Strike. This is really nice skill for knocking down people, enemies, while you guys are sidestepping and attacking with crossbow. So for example, we got crossbow out, and then let's just do sidestep, right? And it dashes twice. And so if you guys notice, I dash once and then twice. One, two, right? So instead of going right twice, you guys can do like one right, one left too, if you guys wanted to, and then make some kind of cool combo like that. And then kind of trick people where you're going as well as, you know, tricking your enemy. Left, right, right? Right, left. And you guys can like trick people doing that cool stuff and then, yeah. There's a nice combo that you guys can do with Wing Strike and using Covering Fire. So for example, let's say that we're using this and then BF as well. So, you know, you guys can use like this, that, Piercing Cry, right? And then you guys can do the side attack and then BF, right? And then just add that really nice combo and make it smooth. All right, we're going to talk about Wrath of Nature too, guys. This is really nice to use skill, guys, for super armor. And it also has a recovery breath on passive-wise. And so if you guys use this skill, it gives you guys 300 recovery for HP. And you guys can actually stack with XL and steady breath. So look at this right now, guys. We have 1,000. So let's use number one on my hockey for Wrath of Nature. Oh, yeah. And we need to have a crossbow. Boom, and then we get 300. Press E after that. And then we get 500. And then the other one, which is 300, right guys? And so we get 300 here, and then we can get 500 here, and then 300 here again, guys. And so, yeah, Archer is really nice for healing, guys. And so if you guys say, oh, he needs to be buffed on healing. Well, there you go, guys. You guys can use 300 here, 500, 300 here. And so you guys can get a lot of healing. They're stackable again. So let's say that we use it again. Number one, E. And then, boom, right? And so we just get all the healing right there, guys. And so make sure you guys use that advantage. Just keep in mind, guys, that if you guys want to use Excel and then use ability right away, it doesn't actually heal you guys. And so let's say that I slide it after using that ability. So E and then slide. As you guys can see, I use the ability, right? But then I don't get the HP. And so make sure you guys are like out in range, right? And make sure you guys use that when you guys are free to use. And then make sure you guys don't cancel the ability or else you won't get the full HP. Next one we're gonna talk about is Earth Shatter, but you guys gonna use this by accident by using the full bloom because if you guys have a crossbow and then press Shift E, you guys will use the Shatter Boom. And he has a knockdown, which is really nice. But then you guys like to use the full bloom, let's be honest, right? And so we use the shifty right here, guys, right? Because he has a really, really nice AoE damage. We're going to talk about the Bolt of Radiance next. And you guys definitely want to lock that in. Oh, crap, I died. Anyways, we're going to talk about that. And then you guys want to actually lock that Black Spirit Rage. Because if you guys don't want to use this accidentally on the Black Spirit Rage, because there's some better skills that you guys can use for something else. However, if you guys want to use this skill, you guys want to just press Shift RMB. 
just like that just to cast it out but it doesn't have any you know like iframe super armor so i don't really recommend you guys using that ability so i highly just suggest just locking that if you want and let's move on after that we're gonna talk about air explosions which is really really nice skill to use because if you guys look on the skill add-on it has tier 3 effect which gives you guys you know monster attack monster extra AP against monsters plus 30 and then attack casting speed plus 10 so if you guys use that you guys can get all this juicy tier 3 buffs so yeah you guys can definitely use that and all you guys can do to use that ability is shift F on holding a crossbow so just like that boom and it gives a really nice damage guys you guys just saw that it almost one shot at them it's really really good damage to use so I highly recommend you guys using that and last but not least double tap guys which is shift Q you guys can get this if you guys do the Magnus quest so if you guys do so just press shift Q and then boom boom and look at that from crossbow it actually changes to bow after that so as you guys can see again let's try again I have a crossbow out right now guys and then if you press shift Q boom boom and then ends up with an bow so you guys can use like a cool trick with this right so after using double tap then you guys can use like awakening abilities now after which can be really really cool and can be smooth for transition wise you guys can also use the double tap while you guys have a bow out so let's say that we have a bow right now but then let's just press double tap and then boom boom and then goes back to bow again and then after that you guys can use like a really cool combo after that and has a really nice transition it doesn't really have any you know forward guard or super armor so use it on your own risk it's been 17 minutes guys already just explaining what archer is on main and so you guys can definitely know that it's not an easy class because you guys need to understand every details for this individual skills and then now my favorite part that i like to use on archer though is awakening and so let's talk more about these on awakening Great bow of light is super easy, right? Just press C to just change it from bow to crossbow and crossbow to bow, vice versa. If you guys are out of mana, you guys can use the great bow training, which is just left click, right? So let's say that we're using all the abilities right now, right? And then you guys don't have mana. All you guys need to do is just press left click and then look at your mana. It's already fold really, really fast. And so if you guys don't have any mana potions, you guys can just left click to get them back. And you guys gotta make sure you hit the enemy or else you won't get any MP. Watcher, I like to put this on, you know, hotkey. For example, I put it on a caps lock or tab, for example. And then put Watcher there. And then it gives you guys all AP plus 20, all accuracy plus 12. Down attack damage, right? Air attack damage, back attack damage, critical hit damage, critical hit rate. And it's all like 15% for those and 100% for critical hit rate, guys. And so you guys really, really want to use this. When you guys want to in pvp fights or if you want to give really really good damage that's when you go super saiyan mode guys right here after that light path is on this one if you guys just click right mouse button it also gives you guys all ap plus 10 and so make sure you guys spam that whenever you guys can on pve grinding same thing with pvp you guys can literally just shoot anywhere and still get it back and so you don't even have to hit minions or mobs or pvp humans you just spam that RMB and then you just get that all AP plus 10. After that, these are all my favorite skills that I like to use guys, which is Radiant Explosion. You guys can either put on a hotkey, which I like to do, or just press Shift LMB guys to use it. And this is the Black Spirit Rage that you guys want to use. It's really nice for PvE and PvP content. And so yeah, I highly recommend you guys using this instead instead of the radiance personally i like to put these on a hotkey because of this reason guys if you guys see this can be added to the quick slot or can be used with the crossbow on the bottom this is what you guys can do is if you guys have a crossbow out and just press hotkey on number three for example you guys can easily just pull out your bow instead and so that's why it's really convenient same thing with number two which is we're going to talk about next is spear and it just gives a really nice AoE damage around you and it recovers 40 HP per hit and all evasion rate debuff for 9% guys. And so you guys want to use that for healing effect. That's a really really good healing for yourself and also has a really good AoE and also really good to use it on a hotkey when you guys are using crossbow. So let's say that we're using crossbow right now right? Boom and then press number 2. And then now you guys are in awakening position. 
instead of main weapon. They both have super armor, so I highly recommend you guys spamming these skills. It's really, really nice to use. And then my next favorite is using Uproot, which is down F, guys. This is really, really fun to use for any combos because if you have a just um, main weapon out, which is crossbow, and then just press SF, you guys can easily just pull out bow again right there and then be in a bow position. Oh my gosh, what is that name? Okay, we're gonna talk about this one, which is Lothargarhorn's Call, okay? nope. which is shift RMB, guys. And so we're gonna shift RMB here, and it has a forward guard because I have the selected skills right here, guys, and put it on this one. And if I do that, I get a forward guard right here. And so personally, guys, if you guys are on PvP or PvE, for PvE, I usually recommend you guys getting the forward guard because it actually blocks the damage, right? But PvE, P, you guys can either get the forward guard or get the super armor so that way you guys don't fall from the enemy. So if you guys do it right, you guys can use this and watch your smite right after. So shift RMB and then hold RMB after that guys. And then boom, just like that, he just uses the righteous smite right there and use the combo right there which is really really nice and smooth another challenge that i can ask for you guys is using uproot and then lutheran call because it has a quicker cast ability and then using righteous smile so for example sf and then shift rmb and then hold rmb after and then now let's try it guys sf right here and then shift rmb and then hold rmb just like that guys so that's a really really nice combo that i like to use all the time on my archer is SF, shift RMB, and then RMB as well. But then the last one, RMB, the Righteous Might has 20 seconds cooldown, guys. And so make sure you guys use this in efficient time, in the right time. After that, guys, let's talk about Full Bloom. It's one of my favorite skills. Shift E, right? It has the most AoE damage as well, or most AoE around. And so it's really, really nice on a really smaller mobs because you guys can give really really nice damage on these little minions. After that, Mountain Breeze is really really good for evasion wise because it has an iframe and super armor. So let's say that there's enemy in front of you and you want to get out from this guy. All you guys can do is either forward F, forward, or you guys can turn around, move your mouse right, and then WF like this to back away. So you guys can use that and it has an iframe and super armor. So it's really really good for evasion guys to run away. Plus, it also gives recovery 20 MP per hit. And so if you guys are out of mana as well, and if you guys hit an enemy while using that ability, you guys can get your mana. So look at this right here, guys. Boom. And then get a little bit of your mana right there. Mark Bloom is really nice skill to use for combo-wise as well. Also has a movement speed debuff, minus 10%. And this is really good for PvE or PvP in general. It has really, really long range, right? If you guys see anything red, like right here guys right here in the middle that's when you guys can hit the enemy and just you can literally spam that button as well which is q s and then just spam it until your mana's out and it's really really nice skill because really has a really nice damage as well so what i like to use is sf right boom rmb and then smite right boom and then q s if they're not dead still Next we're gonna talk about is Piercing Light. Personally, I don't like using this ability, but it does have tier 3 buff. And so, but I don't really like to use it still because you just stand still doing nothing. And I don't like that being an archer. I would like to move around crazy as an archer, right? But then using this, right? And just standing still and then just waiting for somebody to come and then just shoot with the super armor activated. It just sounds kind of lame for me personally. So I don't really use it anymore, but then you guys can use it. It's all up to you on your preference. However, you do consume on stamina. So let's say that you're holding like this and look at your stamina, guys. You're draining your stamina and stamina is your life in as an archer. And so you do not just want to drain your stamina like this, just doing nothing. And so make sure you always have your stamina back somehow and then stay alive. Zephyr Leap is basically the same thing on main. If you guys scroll down, the Zephyr Leap right here as well, right? It shift down, and so it doesn't matter if you guys have a crossbow, right? Or if you guys have a bow, right? They're literally the same thing. If you guys look on the Black Spirit Rage, there's so many Black Spirit Rage for Archer. And nice thing about one of them is for Zephyr Leap, if you guys look on the left side, the ultimate, it says RMB while holding shift down. There we go. 
So just like that, guys. You guys can go invisible and then use his 25% of Black Spirit. Boom, just like that. So that can be really good for escaping and becoming invisible just for a little second. So that way you guys can trick your enemy. Shade Bound Beam, if you guys put this on a hotkey, for example. And then I put it on number 6, for example. And if I use it, I go invisible, guys. So you guys can move like this. But if you guys move any, you know, slide movements or any abilities, then you guys get unrevealed and shows your position. And so once you guys use this beam ability, you guys go hidden mode. You guys can move around. Make sure you guys see this cooldown. If this becomes zero, then you guys will be unrevealed. So until then, press LMB to shoot. And if you don't shoot, then you're just going to reveal yourself without shooting. Tactical strike is left or right RMB, right guys? Or you guys can do left or right with Q RMB. So for example, if you have a crossbow out, if you do Q and then RMB, you guys can use that, right? So if you guys look at the hotkey very carefully here, I'm pressing D and then Q and then RMB, right? So that's what you guys can do if you guys are on a crossbow. So one more time here, D, Q, I have a crossbow out. And then if you want to slide, just press Q and then press R and B. If you already have bow out, press A or D and press right click, right? And then R and B or left click R and B. You can spam it, but it doesn't have, you know, iframe. And so just be careful spamming that button. But yeah, the first one has iframe, so make sure you guys want to use that when they're really close to you. We talked about Glissade previously, but all you guys have to do is press forward at RMB. And if you guys do that, it gives you a forward card, plus it gives you a range AP plus 12. Ravenous Talent is a really fun skill to use. All you guys have to do is W and E. And just hold that, and then it just uses that ability. It has a stun effect and counter attack as well, so if you guys actually use it in the like right timing, you guys can counter attack them and so yeah this can be really fun for pvp as well and it gives you a recover hp 30 per hit and then if you guys are grinding in red orcs or you know bloody you guys can use this skill called elvia resenting arrow you guys need to put a hockey for that one for example but then if you guys use an ability it gives you all dp minus 20 for target all ap minus 20 on ap as well and then you can also get recovery 35 mp per hit so this can be very very useful in red orcs or bloody grinding in serendia locations so definitely check this skill out it also has a super armor down attack and really nice damage as well and then last but not least flow light trail this can be a really fun skill to use you guys can use this skill after like all these kind of skills that you guys can see for example lmb after a radiant explosion or glissade attack and then rmb or lmb or f after uproot, low sweep, and Glissade, attack 3, and then also on. And so what this means is that like if you guys are pressing F, for example, we're using low steep. After that, if you keep holding F, we're going to use this. And then you guys see this line right here, it's going to go to Righteous Smite. And so first, we're going to use this, for example, and then it's going to cast this, and then it's going to cast that after. And so let's check it out. So F, boom, 2, 3. So as you guys can see, just like that, you guys can use on the flow right here, which is light trail and can use it on literally any kind of skill. And it's really, really fun to use and find combos. And so, yeah, just read this very carefully and just find what you want to use it on. You guys can also do uproot, light trail, righteous smite, which is SF and then just hold F. One, two, three, just like that, guys. So another method of using light trail, guys, is using the radiant explosion, right? So shift left click and then just hold left click and see what happens. One, two, three, just like that. So flow of light's trail and then righteous might always cast, which is a really nice combo that you guys can use. It's just that depending on what kind of ability you are using in the very beginning, such as like radiant explosion, low sweep, and it can be glissade and so on. Another fun one would be like Luther Grounds call which is SF and then shift right click and then holding right click after that, right? So SF, shift right click and then holding right click, just like that, one, two, three. So just like that, you guys can make a lot of combos just using this Light's Trail and Righteous Might. 
it just depends on what kind of skills that you're gonna use and then end with these two so yeah that's a uh, basically a tip of the day for archer so let's talk about skill cooldown slot guys and so we don't want to put cooldown on piercing cry or absolute meteor um, on PvE especially because you guys can spam that skill, right? And so there's no point putting hockey on that one. The one that you want to put it on is Covering Fire. Storm of Light, if you want to use it personally, I'm not going to use it. So I'm just going to move on to the next one, which is Wing Strike. You want to definitely put a hockey for that one. You can also spam it. But personally, I like to put this on because I would like to see the cooldown for the knockdown. So when the knockdown is ready, then I can be ready for PvP fights, for example. And then Wrath of Nature, it's all up to you as well. This one, you can definitely put it on a hotkey, right? For example, number one. So you don't need a hotkey for that one. And let's move on to the next one, which is Earth Shatter. You can definitely put that on there if you want. Bolt of Radiance, I'm not going to use that. So I'm just going to skip that one. Air Explosion, I want to definitely put that on a hotkey, number four. Double Tap, number five. Breath of Spirit, if you're not going to use it, right? If you're just going to use Recovery, you don't need to use this. Same thing with Exhale. Steady Breath, you can use it on this one because you want to know when the cooldown is ready. So that way you guys can spam this all the time. Same thing with Exhale, honestly. If you guys want to see the cooldown for that, so you guys can spam it and then get your health back as much as you can. It's all up to you. But personally, I'm not going to use it. And then Sunfall. We don't want to put it on a skill cooldown slot because we're going to put that on our numbers. And our number is going to tell us that um, the cooldown timer. And so we're not going to put that there. Glad you can actually put it if you want just to time yourself for the perfect, you know, combo for movement wise. In snare, you don't need it because if you put in a hockey, it's there for the cooldown. Earthquake, we're not going to use any of these guys, right? So we're just going to keep scrolling down until emergency escape so if you guys want to you guys can put you know hockey on the emergency escape and so if you guys can press v then you guys can easily come out and yeah escape in you know free location after that great ball of light is not necessary right just pressing c right and so we don't need that watcher i put it on a hockey caps lock so no cooldown slots is needed for that one elvia same thing you guys want to put it on a hockey so don't need that radiant i put it on a hockey guys and so if it's preference on you guys if you guys like using on a shift left click or just using on a hockey it's up to you full bloom shift e and it's spammable so i'm not gonna bother using that one on my skill cooldown slots spear of sylvia you guys can either put it on a hockey or number two just like me mountain breeze wf i would definitely put that in there so where were we? Number eight. So that would be number nine, guys. And then Mark Bloom, same thing. If you guys want to, you guys can put a cooldown. But this is spammable skill too, right? So I don't really need it. And so I'm just going to get not put it in there. And then move on to the next one, which is Uproot. I would love to use an Uproot, guys, because I would like to know when the cool time is up. And so that, that way I can spam that. Same thing with this one, 11 for this one. So whenever it's up, I can use it. Same thing with this one, 12. So remember like this, this is a, you know, combo to the other. And so you guys make sure you use this whenever you guys can. And then 11, 12, where are we at now? Low steep. You guys can use it personally. I don't really like using it because it has nothing. There's no front or, you know, front shield or super armor. So it's kind of risky to use. Same thing with this one, you just go invisible and that's the cool part and that's about it. So I don't really like to use it. Tactical Strike, yeah, you definitely want to add that in if you want. And so number 12 right now. And then we're going to put that on number 13. Ravelous Talent, same thing. You can put it in hockey if you want, 14. And the same thing with these guys, 15. And then 16. And 17. And then the last one, so we actually didn't talk about skill enhancement, so let's actually talk about that. If you like PvE, I recommend you guys using the Radiant Storm on PvE, and then PvP, you guys want to use Deadly Explosion. After that, you guys can either use Virgil Clot 
or Radiant and Snare. I personally like Radiant and Snare because if you guys look at the debuff, it's really good for PvP, which is movement speed minus 20%, attack casting speed is minus 20% as well. So if they're hit with that, um, they're gonna get debuffed. It also has a super armor, so it's really nice to use, guys. And so it's Shift Z. So if you guys use that, you guys see all these debuff right here. And so that's why it's really nice to debuff an enemy. After that, I personally like Earth Judgment over the nature. The reason because of that is it has a forward guard, guys, and also gives you a little knockback. And so if you guys press number three as a hotkey, for example, here, boom, and it just pushes you away towards the enemy and also has a front shield. And so it's really nice to, you know, just back off to the enemy and also give them a really nice damage and a knockback for PvE only. So after the skill enhancements now, and looks like we are good and all set for the skill cooldown slots now, guys. And so now we have everything on the screen. And if you guys don't see it, press escape, edit UI, and make sure your eyeball is activated, right? And then if you guys do that, press save, and then click on any preset. Personally, I'm gonna use it on preset three because preset one is my ninja. Preset two is my Megu right now because I'm liking Megu right now a lot. And then number three is my archer right now to make this video. After that, you guys just wanna adjust these um, boxes into like movement skills. So for example, I know my WF is one of my skill, right? And it was right there. And so that's why I left it there for my movement. And let's try to find something else as well, which is D left click, right? So that was one of the ability and seems like it's down here. So I'm gonna move that to movement for now and just keep finding all the movements on the screen and then after that what else was there um the rmb right and then that was that one and so yeah that's also good skill for movement and then sliding right sliding also good one i'm gonna move that there for example and then boom you can spam that so it doesn't really matter that one there's that one as well personally i like moving my shift z and shift x next to each other so they, it was those two right there so i'm just gonna move those guys right above my number one so we're like right up here and then this one right up there the reason for that is you know z and x right so shift z is up right there and then the next one would be x right because z is right next to x and so just like that so that's how I know when those guys are up. And so when I'm PvE grinding, like I know exactly what button I need to press. And then number three is another skill enhancement, Earth Judgment. You guys have to put um, quick slot for this one. And so I put it usually on number three for that. And then just press number three. Covering fire, right? That one's also movement skills. So I'm gonna move that to my movement skills right here and save it. And so yeah, just keep playing around with these guys. I'm gonna readjust mine and then come back to you guys after with my result. So right here, guys, this is what it looks like for me. This is all my healings, right? And so as you guys remember, this is my healing. Boom. Pressing E is also healing. Pressing number five is also healing. Shift X, Shift Z, right? For those two right there. Number one, if you want, or number two, number three. And then number four for buffing yourself. For Sunfall, I put it on a mouse function, guys. So I can actually press it on my mouse button. Just like that. If you guys want to know how to change that, all you guys have to go is settings, general, or interface, I mean. And then you guys can change it like right here, for example. So quick slot hotkeys, you guys can literally change it anywhere here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And for my nine and 10, Usually you guys can't press the number 9 and 10 anyways, right? So instead I just change it to my mouse function 1 and mouse function 2 for example. And then tab, you just, you know, get your weapons out and then turn away, put away your weapons. And so I usually don't care with that one. And so I just use tab as another skill and then caps lock as well for another skill. And so just like that, it will look something like this on my screen for example and just be organized. So on the right side, it's all movement, right guys? So this, boom, this, and then that, right? And then just practice, boom. And then I just use all my movement there, for example. Problem with Archer is that you guys have to know exactly what skills to use when you have, you know, the bows out or crossbow out. So let's say that I use this, 
and now I'm in crossbow, right? And then you guys have to know exactly what you guys can use for main because now, right now, you guys can only use main unless you know exactly what skill to use. For example, Radiant Explosion Spear, either on a hotkey, right? So I have number one, number two. So on a crossbow, I can just press number one or number two and change it back to Awakening and then have my bows out. And so you guys have to practice that a lot as an archer. When you guys have bows out and then if you want crossbow, usually what I like to do is just sliding and then spacebar, right? Once you guys use the um, meteor dive, it turns back to crossbow, right? And so just like that, use everything on the crossbow part. And then if you want to change to awakening again, you guys can use the awakening, either this, that, glissade, right? And so on. And just keep practicing and test out all the abilities, even uproot as well. So you have a crossbow and then uproot, right? And now you're in a bow position again. Stuff like that. And so that's the tricky part playing an archer is that knowing what abilities to use. Either you're on a bow or a crossbow. And once you get familiar with that, you'll be like solid playing archer. And he's a lot of fun to play, guys. And so I highly recommend you guys keep testing and practicing. That's very important as an archer main. So here, right guys, I basically made some chart for you guys that you guys can practice. Um, so for example, if you guys are holding any weapon for either main or awakening on an archer, you guys can use any of these skills on this one, for example. So there's a lot of skills right here, guys. But example, like glide, you guys can use that skill when you're either holding main or awakening, for example, right? Same thing with meteor dive, XL, glissade, wing strike, and radiant, uproot. Mark Bloom, Mountain Breeze, Absolute Covering, Radiant Storm, Radiant Snare, Spear, Double Tap, Zephyr Leap, and Zephyr Leap because, you know, they both have them on main and awakening for that. And so let's just go one by one and just show you what I mean. And so let's go back to game. And we are holding currently crossbow. Let's just slide, right? So that works easily. And then let's change to awakening and then glide, right? Just like that. It works perfectly. And then what do we have next is Meteor Dive. So Meteor Dive, let's see if it works. If we have Awakening, right? And it did. And now we have a crossbow. So let's slide and then do Meteor again. And so it does work. So it does not matter if you guys are holding any weapon for that scenario. Same thing with XL. Since it's a main weapon for that one, let's just press E while holding Awakening. And then boom, just like that, we get it. Glissade, let's hold a crossbow because that's a awakening weapon. And so we're using crossbow and then let's press W, R, and B. And looks like it works. And then now we're back on awakening. And then absolute winged, they're basically same thing, right? Even though I'm holding a cross or bow, am um, I still using the wing strike, which is from main right here, guys. And so yeah, they both work perfectly, either crossbow or bow. So that doesn't matter for that. Radiant. I put a hotkey on number one, or if not, if you guys just press shift left click from crossbow, it will activate just like that. And then uproot, same thing, if you guys are hold a crossbow, and then SF, and then it turns back to awakening, and it's an awakening skill. Mark bloom, same thing with crossbow, when you're holding a crossbow, and then down Q, right, just like that. Um, covering fire, same thing, if you're holding a bow, and then DF, it comes back to main right here somewhere and then after that absolute arrow which is shift f so when we have a bow out for example and it's using main weapon shift f right and then just like that we can easily change it to main and so on and then radiant storm right it's easy um we just have you know shift z or shift x right and uses the main weapon just like that and then changes back to cr crossbow same thing with shift x just like that and then turns back to main and then now we have spear and double tap so this is a trick guys because double tap has shift q and awakening has shift q on the spear so this is what happens when we have awakening out and then press shift q for example and then if you press shift q again it's going to use double tap instead so this can be very confusing for some people so what i like to do is just lock that in and then just put that on my number two, for example, and then make sure I just use number two just to use that. And then when I just do shift Q, no matter what, I'm gonna always use double tap no matter what. And so that can be very convenient and can be easy and can be easily, you know, be done and fixed. 
And then Zephyr Leap, you know, it doesn't matter if you have Awakening, Bow, or Main Bow, right? You're gonna use it no matter what. And so it doesn't really matter, right? You just have different cool style effects. And that's it. But only Awakening, you need to remember that Full Bloom, right? For example, let's have Crossbow, crossbow out. And then let's try to use Shift E. So this is what happens if you press Shift E on Main. And this is what happens if you press Shift E on Awakening. So this is Crossbow right now. Boom. But then if we change to Awakening and then press Shift D, that's the different style of right there, guys, is between these ones right here. Same thing with Steady Breath, right? Remember how we have a crossbow and then if you want to heal up the RMB, right? And then you guys heal up like that. But if you guys are Awakening, then you guys can press the RMB and then do Tactical Strike. But remember, guys, that Tactical Strike has something cool trick is that you guys can use it on a crossbow, which is pressing by Q, right? So D, Q, and then R and B, right? And then easily can change that into transition. Low sweep, right? You guys have to have F up. So F doesn't work on awake or main, and so you guys have to have Awakening up and then press F, and then it works, right? Like a charm. So that's low sweep. Light trail as well, and then Righteous Might as well. Ravenous Talon is W, E, right? That does not work when you guys have crossbow out. So make sure you guys have crossbow ready for that one. So if I just press W, E right there, guys, it uses Exhale instead. And so, yeah, it does not work there. Lutheran Calling, let's see if it works. We have crossbow out and then shift left, shift right R and B, and it does not work, guys. And so make sure you guys have this um, Lutheran Calling when you guys are um on awakening so what i like to usually do for that for lutheran calling right is you know just sf changes to awakening and then shift right click right for example and so that's what you guys can do for that scenario piercing cry is very very interesting guys so look at this look very carefully we can use gliding right right here but i want to use piercing cry but it won't let me when i have awakening so if you have main though if you have slide and then do it the piercing cry actually works on main so just remember that glide and piercing cry actually works if you guys have main activated but it does not work on awakening but funny part is what you guys can do is you know slide meteor and then piercing cry right that's like the best way to use piercing cry honestly is just meteor and then piercing cry because sometimes you don't know if you have your gliding up on uh, your main or awakening so it can be very confusing right so if you have your awakening right now and then slide and then try to do piercing cry it doesn't work so it might kill you from that mistake and so what you want to do is usually just glide meteor and then piercing cry would be the safe bet and so that's what this chart is guys so definitely go over again and then these ones are the ones that you guys want to put in hockey right so wrath watcher that's pressing Q, but I recommend just locking and put it on a hockey. Sunfall, put it on a mouse function. That's what I did. And then hockey for that one. Earth Judgment, I put it on number three. And Snare, you want to, you know, put that on a hockey because of that critical hit buff. And then LVI, if you guys are grinding in Serendia server. And then these guys are the ones that, you know, it's not recommended. So they're just there. So yeah. So I recommend you guys again, just come back to this. And then practice all these skills that I'm showing you guys right now. Pause it if you guys need to. But this is the stuff that you guys need to know for Archer. Next, let's talk about movement for Archer. When we are talking about PvP movements, we always want to use skills that have super armor, iframes, and front guard if necessary, if needed to get to safety. In this video, I will show you guys an example of what skills you guys can use to stay safe as an Archer player. So let's rewatch again and let's see what skills we used here. First of all, we're gonna start with gliding, meteor dive, and then piercing cry. After that, we're gonna glide again, guys. Mountain breeze after, glissade, zephyr leap, and then glide again. And then meteor dive, piercing cry, and then glide again. This way, you guys will constantly have that super armor, iframes, and front guard. With enough practice, it would look something like this. And then after that, you guys can use some side steps and then SF on the end. For PvP wise, let's talk about how you guys are gonna put the enemies down. Usually how you guys are gonna put enemies down is using the wing strike. So like this, left and right, left and right. 
and then just pressing the left button, right? And then it sometimes gives them a knockdown. That's when you guys need to follow up your abilities and then go from there. Another good one would be like Leap Strike. Attacking backwards and then just gives them a nice stiffness. But then if you guys give them a really nice stiffness, just make sure you guys do follow up, which is Wing Strike, right? And then if they get a knockdown, that means you guys want to follow up with Double Tap after that. And then gives them another knockdown and then do a really nice combo. Since we are Archer, let's do a combo that's really, really long ranged combo. So for example, let's say that we did Leap Strike and then we gave them a CC. And then we want to just do left and right and see them if they fall down. And if we do, we want to follow up with Double Tap to give them another knockdown. So it would look something like this. Um, I will start over and do it step by step. So just keep watching. First of all, we start with Zephyr Leap. And if they get stiffed, we follow up with the absolute wing strike. And then after that, double tap for the second. And then light trail, guys, which is pressing F. Shift right click, Lutheran call, and then F. And then hold that button until you guys can smite it. And then after that, finish with Mark Bloom, which is QNS. Let's watch that one more time with all the combos updated. And so you want to use some abilities that's protected and then also gives them stiffness. For example, the leap, right? Remember guys, it has a forward guard, so they're in front of you attacking you. But while they're attacking you, you can still run away like this and then boom. And then it gives them a stiffness. And then once they give a stiffness, that's when you guys do the wing strike and then give them a knockdown if you can. And then after that, follow up with the double tap. And then you guys can do, you know, any kind of cool tricks that I'm going to teach you later on. But that's just a scenario one is that you guys want to just spam the abilities that has like some kind of a floating, bound, stun, or stiffness, right? And these are the abilities that you guys want to use before engaging to enemy. So for example, we just saw stiffness on piercing cry, right? Or a meteor dive. So you guys can like slide into them and then jump over them, right? And then if you guys see them like getting stiffed, like they're like just like standing still for like really good second, watch carefully. They're like, ugh. Yeah, and then, you know, they're stiffened. That's when you guys use the wing beat, right? Wing strike. And then give them a knockdown. And then have another knockdown ready, which is shift Q. You guys gonna use, honestly, the double tap all the time, most of the time, for the second knockdown. Because it's just really nice to use and it's convenient. And you're not gonna use this most of the time because it doesn't have any forward guard or super armor or iframe. So this is only good to use when they are basically down on the first one. And so for example, let's stiff them, boom, stiffed, put them down on a wing strike, right? And then double tap. And then, you know, do some crazy combos that we just taught you. Just like that. So let's figure out more stiffness, right? So we just learned that Meteor Dive is one of them. Zephyr is, um, Leapy is one of them. And if you guys time the Piercing Cry as well, it also gives them stiffness. So like this. Boom, and then you guys did it too soon. Don't worry, you know, you guys got it with your piercing cry, which is by holding left click. So this is medium, and then if you guys can't hit it, then you guys finish it off with piercing cry and get a confirmation on the second hit. So here, meteor, and then piercing cry. Boom, just like that. And then you guys got a stiffness there, put them down on a wing strike, and then double tap, right? Boom, and then you guys want to give a combo just like that after that and then if you look on awakening for stiffness light trail you know they don't have any front guard zephyr leap has a front guard so you guys can use that one right so either you have a bow or you know crossbow it doesn't matter right it still gives you stiffness and then let's use crossbow since we used bow before and then yeah it still works as stiffness and so definitely you guys want to use that um when you guys want people stiffed 
Perfect, so we basically learned that we want to use Meteor Dive, Piercing Cry, or Zephyr Leap to give enemies a nice CC and then follow up with the knockdown. I like to use this skill a lot. It's really nice because you can also spam it and then the damage is there. And if this location is 190 and you're about 225, you can still use the same skill like really easily. Same thing with Shift E. It's also spammable, so it's really nice. So you guys can spam that all day. Or, you know, Q, S. That's a really good one too. And then after that, just sliding, right? Piercing Cry, Meteor, Piercing Cry. This is also a really good way to get your recovery mana as well, guys. So let's say that you guys don't have Infinity Potion still and you're still lacking on recovering your MP. You guys can either open up the shop, right? Which is 10th right here, install it. And then in the shop, you guys can buy MPs and HPs and put that in a hockey if you want. Or personally, I just don't buy them. And then all you guys have to do is Meteor, right? Char, and then Pierce and Crack. After that, you guys can easily get mana right there. So let's, let me try to burn everything off my mana again. And then we'll start from the very beginning again. Alright, so we don't have mana right here now. And so what we're gonna do is to gain mana is slide in front of them, Meteor Shower, Piercing Crack. You get some of them there. And then slide again, Meteor Shower, and then Piercing Crack. That's how you guys can get mana so quickly, is just do that method. Just go through them, touch them, and then let them follow you, and then line it up. That's what I like to do. And then QS. is literally just kills one, all of them in two shots. So one and two, go next. One and two, go next. Sometimes it's just one shot. One and two, and then go next. You want to be, you know, be simple when you're a PvE grinding because you don't want to hurt your hands so that way you guys can grind more. Then after that, WF to go forward, sliding, and then QS again guys. QS is really really nice, that's my personal favorite for like really weak grinding location because he has a really nice AoE as well and this is really good um, damage as well for AoE skill. After that, you just gotta know your movement skills, right? Sliding, Meteor, Piercing Cry, BF. Using all my abilities here, right? Wing Strikes, stuff like that, and then, you know, that. Some people say um, their DP is really low, right? So let's put our DP down, and I'll show you guys what are some skills that you guys can get your DPs back. So let's see if they can hit me, for example. One of my favorite skill to get a life steal is shift right click. Right here, shift right click, boom, and get your all HP back, just like that guys. And so that's another way, or you guys remember the pressing E button, right? That can heal you as well. Or this button it has to be on the crossbow, right? Or pressing number, what was it, five? Yeah, that also gives me a heal. But the best one that you guys can heal is shift right click. And so that's what you guys can do if you need healing. Meteor, shower, piercing cry if you need MP. And then just spam your buttons, guys. I only have 62 DP here. But even though I have 62 DP, I know exactly what skills I need to use for healing. So number two, which is spear, is also a good one to heal. So right here. Boom, and you guys can get a decent amount of healing. But then still, the best one is shift right click, guys, to heal. And then after that, if you still need healing, press E, right? You guys can get easy 500 HP right there if you can. If you need mana, piercing cry, meteor shower. Piercing cry, meteor shower. And that's it, literally. You guys want to keep it simple on PvE grinding? So that is my trick for you guys. And that's a wrap for this part 1 video. And I definitely feel like I could have shown you guys more. But let's wait for that in my part 2 video. Thanks so much for watching till the end guys. And if you liked the video, please consider subscribing to my channel. And don't forget to leave a comment what tutorial video should I make next. My goal is to make all the class tutorial guides. So if you guys want to class that you always wanted to learn, please let me know and I will make it. 
thanks again and ciao for now.